What's going on guys? So in today's video we're gonna learn how to make this responsive nav bar. As you can see, this is a responsive nav bar. For the mobile version, we will have this bug menu. You click it, it opens up and you will have this cool effect. There is this slide and then the menu shows up one by one with a nice delay. If this is your first time here and you want to learn more about web dev, hit the subscribe button and also the bell, so you don't miss our weekly videos. So that's it for today's project and I hope you enjoy it and learn a lot from it. We start right now. Alright, let's start really from the beginning, really from the scratch. Let's create our folder. I am gonna call this one irresponsible navy bar. We can call wherever you want, okay? Okay, it's done. Now let's create our structure. First of all, let's create our index.html, our style.css, and this time we have this app.js. Let's close this one. Hit exclamation point and tab so you have a bullet plate. For the title here, let's say navigation. Now let's go to the body, let's create our nav, let's create our div logo, class logo, and we have a h3, let's call it web dev, okay? Now we have a ul for the class nav links, and let's create our allies and inside of it the links, okay? Command shift option down, and you're gonna duplicate this one. First of all, let me minimize this one. And let's open this up in live server so you can see in real time and really learn from it, okay? For this one, let's say project. And as you can see, simple like that, it's done. For the mobile version, let's create this div, the class bugger. And in here, let's have these three classes three divs with the class line 1, line 2, and line 3. This is going to be our bugger menu. We also need our script because this time we're going to use some JavaScript. Our HTML is done. All right, let's jump into CSS. Let me close this one. Okay. First, let's, let's have our CSS reset. Let's remove margin and padding to zero. Box size is going to be body box. Okay. Let's go to the body and let's add some background. Okay. Let's go use URL BG. Okay. No repeat. Center, center, fix it. As you can see, it's too big, but let's take care of that. Give it a size of background, background size. Let's choose cover. Okay, it's much, much better now. Now let's grab our nav. For layout, let's use flex. As you can see on the right, it's change of red. Just like content, let's use the space around. Align items vertically is going to be center and me height HVH. For the background color, let's pick a nice green color. Okay, it's going to be this one 0631436. All right. And for the font fam, let's use the poppins sans serif. Let's use it something different this time, okay? Instead of Ubuntu and Mosserhunt. Now let's grab the logo. This name here, the web dev that's right now is black. Color, let's pick a white color. This one RGB 226, 226. So it's, it is not that very high contrast. For text transform, let's use uppercase. And let's also give a letter space of 5 pixels, okay? 
give some space in between the letters. Font size, let's make it bigger with 20 pixels. Okay, now let's grab our nav links. Let's display for layout also flex. Just like content is gonna be a space around. It's as you can see, it did nothing. But now we have to add some width. We did thirty percent. Now it's working. Okay. The next step here, we're gonna use uh, tag nav links A color. Let's choose the same white color here. Let's get rid of this underline with that decoration. None. Larry spacing. Let's use something like two pixels. Okay. And to give more emphasis to this menu, let's use font weight bold. Font size is too big right now, so let's change it to 15 pixels. Okay. Now let's remove these bullet points with nav links li and delete style none. All right, now let's take out the mobile version. Let's take out the burger. Burger give with 25 pixels. Height is gonna be 3 pixels. And let's pick the same white color. Okay, RGB 226. Of course, right now it's not good because you have also to add some margin. Margin 5 pixels. Now, as you can see, we have a bugger right on the right. Let's also apply its some transition to all 0.3 seconds is. Let's get rid of this right now, okay? So you, you don't see it with display none and cursor pointer. All right, now let's work with our major queries. Let's create this breakpoint here for the max of 1024 pixels, okay? All right. And here let's target the, the navy links and let's increase the width to 6% okay as you can see there is this space in between the menu now let's work with our mobile version let's continue on navy links position is gonna be absolute right is gonna be zero it's stuck to the right Height is going to be full screen, let's give it 92VH and the top is going to be 8VH. Now let's also deal with the color, let's use the same color, okay? The same nice green color. And for layout, let's display flex. Flex direction is going to be to the top to the bottom, so column. And also, let's align the items in the center. Let's give it a width of 50%, okay? You can mess around with the numbers. 80%, for example, may 100% is the full screen, but in our case, you're going to use 50%. Transform and translate, let's use 100% to take it off our screen, but we have this problem, we can still see it, we are, we are gonna fix it right now, okay? Let's stack the body, overflow X, hidden, let's save it, and as you can see the problem is solved. 
let's also give it a uh, transition on transform dot point five is in okay all right let's move on to the next step the next step is gonna be the menu original state is gonna be hidden so opacity hidden and now let's type the burger let's take it from display hidden to display block as you can see on the right it just show up okay now continue using our CSS logic what you're gonna do we're gonna make the native active transform translate zero percent so make it back okay let's put it back to zero percent all right let's jump into our javascript let's make a function let's say const nav slide equals to an anonymous function we are gonna get the burger and the slider so we're gonna say const burger document quarter selector burger we are also gonna let get the nav which is let me maximize this make it bigger const nav document dot query selector nav links when we click the bugger with the nav link to get the class of nav active so how we're gonna do that bugger add advent listen we're gonna run a, a function on click nav should get a class list not add but but toggle okay so let's say here toggle nav class list not add but toggle we are gonna toggle the class list of nav active so let's if you test it right now, for example, let me try here. Is that is it's not working? Because we have we must invoke this function. Navy slide parenthesis. And now if you click it, it slides in nicely. Next step is gonna be animate the links one by one so you have to go back to our css okay here let's build up our animation to each individual link okay one by one they are gonna go from something to something else okay for example here the opacity is gonna be zero and it's gonna go to one and the transform and translate is gonna go from 50 pixels to zero pixels let's say here opacity it's coming from zero, 0 to 1 and transform translate from 50 pixels as you can see above to 0 pixels we are back to our JS let's just apply here the animation cost nav links this is all the links let's say document query select all and here nav links li here let's say animate links nav links for each here let's say links and also the cool thing here we're gonna tag also the index so you can deal with the links individually if our link have animation on it
then you're gonna, gonna say if it's equal to nothing else we are gonna add our animation link dot style dot animation nav link fade the animation you just create 0 0.5 seconds is forward let's template here index divide by 7 let's also add a base of 1.5 seconds delay okay let's see if this works yeah it's working great they show up one by one nicely with a nice delay as you can see it's working so the next step is work our burger icon all right let's go back to our css and let's start our toggle lines okay first one the upper line rotate is going to be minus 45 degrees and translate is going to be minus 5 right and 6 picks down okay let's just duplicate this one let's change here the the lines line 2 and 3 the the one in the middle let's just get rid of it and the last one let's just change this one to minus 6 pixels okay now back to our js we want when you click the bugger toggle the class so we're gonna say bugger class list toggle toggle class all right let's see if this is working as you can see yes it is I maximize here and see the full project and yeah you click here and the toggle works the menu shows up one by one all right so everything worked nice the project is done i know it was a little bit long but there was so many cool things to cover i hope you like it if you like it like it and also subscribe